Hi and welcome to an OEB Blender modding video. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to add transparencies and get them into Giant's editor. I've just figured this out today so there's probably better methods but this one works. So we're going to start off by going into Blender. Now we have a nice blocks here, I'm going to build a quick window. So we'll start display before we do anything so anybody who's curious can see what keys I'm pressing. Right. Tab in to edit mode, quick window, loop quick, control and R, make a nice like, quick window frame, there we go, control and tab, select faces, I wonder if can we do it that way, no, not going to do what I want it to do, but we'll select it all. Just deselect the two in the middle. Deselect the edge like that. So we've only got the faces selected now. Uh, click extrude and scale on the x axis. And it'll pull them out like that. So there we go. Quick, easy way of making a window. Now, then, the fun part. I've discovered the easiest way to do this is to separate the object. So we want transparency in the middle and the edge to be a solid colour but I want to use the same file or texture file so if we highlight the whole thing deselect our window press P and there we go separated now the windows are the same object yet the outside is another object so now we can grab this here drag it into the UV edit in, well the second window change this to UV image editor and we're already in edit mode there but we're not on the one I want there we go we was on the windows I want to be on this first so we're going to grab that press U smart UV project quick unwrap Ta -da. but we don't actually have a texture file yet so we're going to quickly make one F for drop. I'm going to pick a nice dark colour. There we go. And we're going to select this half. Press F again. And we're going to paint this one black. It's going to end up being smoky. So Control X to cut it. Obviously, now you get the transparency. But we're going to paste it back in. But by pressing Control Shift and V, we've pasted it into another layer. Because you can come up here to layer properties and add some transparency like really transparent or you can go for a smoked effect with the window so we're going to go for that maybe a little darker there we are let's control shift and F and I'm not sure if I have this saved as a DDS I do it as a DDS the can't have layers in DDS files they have to be flat so control and S now and we'll resave it so this is going to be our window frame this is going to be our window so back into Blender, obviously we have the unwrap now, image, open image, untitled, and there we go. A to select it all, S to scale it, X, G to tr translate it, press the X and slide it straight there, uh, scale Y, just bring it in a little off the edges, there we go. Now we already have a material to start with so we can come straight onto the texturing or applying a texture open that one there selected image or movie then obviously open the image itself and we scroll down a little bit further and you find here generated we want UV so we press F12 to render it now we have a nice dark red window frame step one done now I'm going to go back out here, I'm going to copy this and paste it. We'll leave it as copy, well, no, I'm not sure if the file would work like that, so we're going to change this just so it's a little bit friendlier. Giant said it doesn't like spaces. So there we go, untitled, untitled one. They're the exact same image, but with this image we're going to obviously build the window frame, solid colour. This image we're going to build the transparency. 
So back in a blender, object mode, select the other object, tab in, unwrap, smart UV project. I forgot to press A. <laughs> so we didn't actually have anything selected. There we go. Now we should work. There we are. <laughs> right then, A to select it all. Image. Not new image, open image. Untitled one. Exactly the same picture, but obviously this time we're going into the other side. There we go. But as you can see, it's after this one. So we're going to remove that. Can't because we're in edit mode. Okay, fair enough. We'll just add a new one then. I'll build this up and then we'll take that out when we get back. Image our movie. Number one. Generated UV. Press F12 now. There we go. F11 to come back out. Right then, we don't need the UV window anymore, so we can join it away. Now, back here, we tab into object mode. What's that? That's the outside one. Right, you have the material. Yes, you need that. You don't need this. So there we go. This is very important that you only have one material for each area otherwise it doesn't seem to want to play nice so F12 again we're good Control S save just a quick overwrite of the previous file right then A select them all make sure you're in object mode and Control J to join now we have one object still rendering nicely i3d exporter right down to the bottom you can do a lot of playing about here but I'm not worried about it yet and we're going to go export selected and using the blender file name now we're here if we open this in notepad you can see we've got both materials although they're exactly the same in the same place now, I'm not entirely sure why we have three material slots there that's quite curious material, material and default Ooh. Hmm. that's a different one let's just open this up and see what happens in here well, everything looks as it should do at this stage we do not have alpha blending enabled at the minute so this is opaque you cannot see through it. Obviously, it's very, very shiny with a specular uh, side to the window frame. We'll sort that out in a moment. So this is—I've just figured this out today. It may or may not work for you, but it is working for me. So we'll close that. We're not saving yet. Back into Notepad. We're going to wipe out this specular colour. If I press Control and F, I go to replace make life nice and easy, replace, replace just good, I'm presuming that is what we're actually looking for in the specular colour but we don't need it right, file ID untitled, this is our alpha blending one which is here, so we'll come to the end here spell it right alpha blending, must remember a capital letter on the B equals double speech marks true simple as that and now I'm also going to link the files while I'm in here we'll delete those delete that one and now they're both tied into the same file but obviously using different halves this one is using the alpha blending material this one isn't so we're good I'll close that down because we are going to save it once we get back in here. But as you can see, we can now see through the window. What you can see there is actually this lip, but on the other side. So we'll go here, Control D to duplicate, move it back, and there you go. A nice smoky window.
now if we save this here we can go back here open this in notepad again and you'll see it's now on the one file but you've still got both materials with the alpha blending involved so right thanks for watching this quick video I'll do a quick recap before I go off actually so that was you make your model you separate it you texture each part individually I'm not entirely but I tried to use the same file and it wouldn't work so this is why I duplicated the files so you split the object attach it to copies of the file that you want it to be make sure it's only got the individual file per object once that's all done join them all back up again export them add your alpha blending link them all back into one file job done so yeah thanks very much for watching we'll catch you next time bye